What's up guys? Some days you just need a relaxing day on the beach and for us today was one of those days. So in this video we're going to show you why the Reddington beaches are some of the best Tampa Bay area beaches to chill out. And don't worry, along the way we're going to show you some of the best spots to eat and drink as well. And if we're lucky we just might be able to show you another amazing Florida sunset too. Let's get this day started. Welcome back to Exploration, where every Saturday we show you around the best Florida beaches and beyond. We're Jamie and Skyler, and in this episode, we're taking you to three amazing neighboring beach towns. And while these towns may be small, they offer plenty to see and do. And if all you want to do is chill on the beach, they offer a whole lot of that as well. But since we love to start our beach days with a healthy dose of caffeine, our first stop is the local coffee shop. Located at 17465 Gulf Boulevard, the Gypsy Souls of Reddington Shores is one of two Pinellas County locations. The coffee house offers fresh muffins, bagels, and house-made breakfast sandwiches, and of course, coffee, which they roast themselves in their St. Pete Roastery. I got a pistachio iced latte. Pretty good. Skyla ordered an iced cold brew, but had to give my latte a try as well. Mm, that's a really good pistachio flavor. Yeah. They're both good, but yours is better. Up next was our breakfast. Our sandwich is ready. We ordered one of their breakfast sandwiches, and this one was their green chili breakfast sandwich. It comes on Cuban bread, and also with a Yugoslavian roasted red pepper spread. It's time to give this thing a try. really good. I think you're really gonna like it. That's delicious. What do you think of that red pepper spread? I would put that on anything. That's good. <laughs> it's really good. Wow. We both enjoyed our breakfast and coffee while taking in the views from the waterfront patio. But with a whole day of exploring ahead of us, it was time to get moving to our second stop of the day, which was just a quick drive to the north. So we just left Gypsy Souls Coffee House and that coffee was really good. But the standout item during our visit was that breakfast sandwich. Yeah, that Yugoslavian red pepper spread that they put on that thing was amazing. Now something to keep in mind, during our visit in May, they still were only offering takeout. Now they do offer outdoor patio seating in the back next to the water. Yeah, but there is limited shade back there and it's already starting to heat up today, which is why we went with two iced coffees. But now we're just a mile up the road at the Reddington Shores Public Beach Access. And as you can see, this parking lot is almost completely empty. And the main reason for that is because we are visiting during the week. Normally we film our beach guides during the weekends when it is much busier. And also because we're here during the week, we were able to find free street side parking within a block of here. Now we wouldn't expect to find that on the weekends. So if you're visiting when it's busier and do have to park in the public lot, that's gonna cost you $2.50 an hour. Yeah, and that rate actually isn't that bad compared to some of the beach towns to the south of us. But now that we're parked, it's time to relax. So let's go check out the beach. Located at 18200 Gulf Boulevard, the Reddington Shores Public Beach offers restrooms, showers, beautiful access paths, and a wide, white sandy beach. We made our way down to the 74 degree water, which felt cool and refreshing on this warm Florida morning. Even though we were visiting on a Thursday morning, we were a bit surprised to find the beach to be this empty right next to the main access. And the nearly empty beach and calm gulf waters provided the relaxing atmosphere we were hoping for. If you're enjoying this video and want to see many more relaxing Florida beaches like this one, be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on. So it's been a little while since we've been out to the Reddington beaches and we kind of forgot how soft and powdery the sand is. Now I'm not gonna say it's as soft as Siesta, but it sure feels nice on our feet, especially after visiting the more shelly beaches the last few weekends.
Ready to relax and take advantage of this perfect Florida beach day, we laid out our towels and made ourselves comfortable in the soft, powdery sand. We just finished up a relaxing morning at Reddington Shores Public Beach, and it was exactly what we needed. But now it's lunchtime, and we are super excited for our lunch spot because they have some of our favorite wings in the entire Tampa Bay area. And even better, they're right across the street, so we'll see you over there. Eager to get our hands on some wings and an ice cold drink, we made the walk all the way across the street to the Friendly Tavern. Once inside the Friendly Tavern, guests will find reasonably priced drinks and the best blue cheese dressing you'll ever have. Plus, wings that are perfectly crispy and covered in just the right amount of sauce. Rumor has it that the other food at Friendly's is really good too, but we never order anything but the wings. Cause after all, why mess with perfection? So we're just leaving Friendly's and as usual, the wings did not disappoint. Now there may be other spots in the Tampa Bay area that have comparable wings, but we haven't found another place that does homemade blue cheese quite like Friendly's. So we did only get 10 wings because we knew we were gonna be eating at our next spot. It's actually right across the parking lot behind me. Visitors to the Reddington Shores Candy Kitchen will soon find themselves in a candy lover's paradise with candy and candy related decor from floor to ceiling. In addition to almost every candy under the sun, Candy Kitchen also offers ice cream, and we couldn't think of a better snack on a hot Florida afternoon. Do you see how big this is? So the Candy Kitchen makes their own ice cream along with some fudge and some other treats too. So we had to try their ice cream. We ended up trying three different kinds in the banana split. So we've got a blueberry pie, a key lime cheesecake, and birthday cake. This looks amazing. First flavor, we got the birthday cake with marshmallow topping on it. It's good. For the middle one, we have key lime cheesecake with a pineapple sauce. Also very good. The third one is the blueberry pie ice cream with a strawberry sauce. Mm -hmm. I approve of all three. Not surprisingly, Skylar approved most of the key lime cheesecake. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Easily. So Jamie, what is your favorite? I think it's the blueberry pie. You sure? I don't know, they're all really good. <laughs> but I think the blueberry pie. The Reddington Shores Candy Kitchen is conveniently located right across the street from the public beach access and is open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. So even though our car will be parked all day today, we're still gonna take you to three different beach towns and we're gonna do that by riding the Sun Coast Trolley. And there are trolley stops all up and down Gulf Boulevard and they're easy to spot by looking for the sun sign. You can also find out how far away the nearest trolley is by texting this message to this phone number. Ours is only a few minutes away, so we'll be seeing you on the trolley soon. All right, we can see our trolley. Skylar's got our electronic tickets ready. Yay, it's stopping for us! While we only spent a few minutes on the Suncoast trolley on this day, we did ride it all the way from Clearwater Beach to St. Pete Beach just a couple of days later. And we'll show you all the highs and lows from that experience in next week's video. So we had the trolley drop us off at the 162nd Avenue Beach Access on Reddington Beach. After all those wings and that ice cream, I think we're ready for a beach nap. Eager to continue our chill day on the beach, we made our way down the Boardwalk Beach Access and all the way to the water. So the beach here is much different than a couple miles north at Reddington Shores. Here the beach is much more narrow and the sand is way more packed. Now it might be because we're close to low tide, but one really cool thing about this beach right now is that you can walk about 30 feet out into the water without it getting more than knee deep. And while the conditions here were nearly ideal for swimming, I was content relaxing on the beach and watching the birds. But of course, Skylar was only able to relax for so long and couldn't resist running into the water for a quick swim. here 
right now would be great for bike riding, unlike the sand that we found on Don Pedro Island a few weeks ago. If you want to see a beach biking disaster, then we'd recommend watching this episode next. Knowing that our next stop of the day was only a half mile that way, we started making our way northward up the beach. So in our episode from a few weeks ago, we had mentioned that we have a 10 year anniversary coming up and we are trying to decide where to go to celebrate. Now it took us quite a long time to make a decision, but we finally have something booked. And if all goes as planned, this video will be airing on May 13th and by that time we should be three days into our vacation. Now we will be sharing our trip on our channel in a few weeks, but if you can't wait to find out where we are, then head on over to our Instagram because we will be sharing stories. After a relaxing walk along the nearly empty beach, we arrived at one of several North Reddington beach accesses. And after just a couple more blocks of walking down Gulf Boulevard, we arrived at our next destination. Here at 16699 Gulf Boulevard, guests will find the Kong Republic Seafood Company, a laid-back grill serving up made-from-scratch Caribbean eats and tropical cocktails with a Key West feel. After taking some time to admire the unique island decor, we spotted a couple open spots at the bar, which it turns out was exactly where we needed to be. We took advantage of the great happy hour specials and ordered a Bloody Mary and a Bahama Mama. Both drinks were fantastic and really hit the spot without causing too much of a hit to the budget. So we just left the Kong Republic and we were planning to have an early dinner there because they have some excellent food specials that run until 5 p.m. But we relaxed on the beach just a little bit too long and we missed that five o'clock cutoff. Yeah, but it all still worked out because we really weren't that hungry around five o'clock anyway. Plus we made it before the seven o'clock happy hour cutoff, which means we got to enjoy some delicious drinks at reasonable prices. Plus, we hear that there is a tiki bar just up the beach, and I bet we can get some food there. Our final beachfront stop of the day took us just another half mile up the beach and past the Dragon, where we were delighted to find the Doubletree Hotel and its Gulf Front restaurant and tiki bar, Mangoes. Glad we found this place. Our first ever visit to Mangoes couldn't have started off much better, as we were quickly sitting beachfront with cold drinks in our hands. We were also happy to find that they do offer a tiki menu, and we'll tell you about that experience right now. So I went with the coconut shrimp that comes with the orange cilantro dipping sauce, and we've heard it's pretty amazing, so I'm ready to try it. Lives up to the hype? That's great. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> And I wasn't that hungry, so I just got a side of sweet potato fries. And it comes with some sort of weird dipping sauce. I have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna try it. What's the sauce like? I think it's just like pureed mango. It's really good. I convinced Skylar to try my orange cilantro sauce. I'm not trying that coconut shrimp though. Oh man, yeah. My sauce is better. Yep. <laughs> wow, that's where it's at. And even though the sunset wasn't the greatest, we couldn't have been happier with our dinner destination. So unfortunately, we were not able to deliver on the beautiful Florida sunset tonight. I guess it goes to show not every Gulf Coast sunset is that great. But if you do want to see a great experience in a beach town just a couple miles from here that does end in an awesome sunset on the beach, check out our Indian Shores video next. Thanks for watching.